What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today we have the first ever announcement of a Blackout Battle Royale esports event called the Blackout Doritos Bowl Tournament. Plus, I want to talk to you guys about some more changes to Blackout Battle Royale, so let's get started. Activision and Treyarch really aren't playing around this year. They are trying very, very hard to make Blackout overtake the Battle Royale genre. And with this Dorito Bowl Blackout event, it's really going to get the name out there to a ton of people. Because the teams have some really popular Battle Royale streamers. So on screen right now are the captains, and they are Ninja, who's arguably one of the top or the most known Fortnite streamer. Shroud, who's also a famous Battle Royale Twitch streamer. Courage, who's also a... Uh, a Fortnite streamer, but he used to be a Call of Duty esports caster. And then finally, Dr. Lupo, another well known Fortnite streamer. So the team captains are some really big names, and they definitely are going to bring a lot of attention to this event. Plus, the players are some other pretty big entertainers. I kind of wish, though, that they would have added some players who are actually from the Call of Duty Pro scene or Call of Duty YouTubers. Um, but maybe for the next event, they'll look into branching out to more Call of Duty players. But regardless, though, this event is going to be pretty huge. The Doritos Bowl tournament is going to be taking place at TwitchCon on October the 27th, which is a few weeks after Blackout officially launches. It would be pretty dang cool to see if the viewers could possibly get some exclusive loot items just for watching the streams, kind of like how if you're watching Ninja stream earlier for like an hour, you got hooked up with a PC beta code, or even what Overwatch does. If you watch an eSport event or the recent Blizzard Con stream, then you'll receive an exclusive skin. So something like that would be really, really awesome. Next up here, guys, I just want to briefly talk about the day five update that Treyarch uh, posted over on the Black Ops 4 subreddit. I'm gonna to have it on screen for you guys and it's also going to be down below in the description in case you guys want to go read that further but first off here they address the team killing looting issue which basically is where somebody on your duos or quad will team kill you and just take your loot pretty much they say that they have a zero tolerance policy for intentional team killers be sure to report them so we can bring the ban hammer down and they're also looking into deciding what they can do to prevent this from occurring next up here for the audio occlusion they kind of gave us a brief update by saying when the game is released footsteps will be properly impacted by walls floors ceilings and other objects in the world so that's going to be very useful when it comes to predicting where players may be set up at also there has been an update to the hit marker indicators so before if you shot at a vehicle then it gave you the same hit marker as if you were to have shot another person so it, it was kind of hard to tell whether or not if your bullet made contact with the person or a vehicle but now on screen Screen. here are the new indicators for the hit markers and uh, so yeah they are pretty distinguishable and I really do like this update a lot it's been pretty highly requested by the players of blackout and uh, yeah I'm pretty glad that Treyarch followed through with this next up here for the armor damage indicator basically they said that by launch day players will see an armor health bar that appears above their own health bar in the HUD when wearing armor this is also a really nice change up because it's gonna give us a more clear understanding standing on the armor and health situation. Another highly requested feature is a free roam camera while down, but Treyarch stated that they intentionally didn't want this to be in the game, but they will continue to evaluate the situation and make further tweaks. Uh, kill trading here is also another issue that has been brought up, especially when there are only two players alive. They say here that they could do a better job of making sure that only one winner remains alive, because honestly, I've seen a lot of images of players and gameplay footages of players getting draw since they kill traded and I feel there needs to be something that you know will tone down the number of games that end in draws personally I feel that for battle royale games there should never be a draw um, but I don't know it does happen sometimes but I don't know I, I guess way 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 too much for this game lastly here they give us some updates of a few bug fixes and other miscellaneous stuff but the thing you guys may be concerned about the most is that the damage players receive in the collab zone has has been increased and also for the wingsuits players can no longer gain altitude at high speeds and pulling up from a steep dive now takes slightly longer which was a great method for players to do in order to land faster and more accurately you still can do this method but it just won't help you out as much as it did before and then lastly here the cargo plane now has been increased uh, for the health and it cannot be damaged by bullets which honestly I am kind of sad about to me because I made a video this morning showing that you can shoot the 
big cargo plane down with only three sniper shots and you could effectively land the supply drop where you shot the plane down but it did get buffed or I guess patched either or I guess is fine and yeah that's kind of upsetting because the animation for the plane dive is really really sick so those are just a few updates I really wanted to talk to you guys about in case you did not hear about them already also the esports reveal event for Black Ops 4 is going to be taking place on the 19th of September which is less than a week away so mark your calendars guys also tell me down below in the comments your thoughts about the blackout esports reveal event plus the updates i listed and uh, yeah thanks for watching guys till next time i'll see you later